Oh, I should probably put my knife away. Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Dishonored. We are at Lady Boyle's party. And before we do anything else, we are going to run Pendleton's yes. errand and talk to this guy in the wolf mask. Lord Shaw. Pendleton? Hmm. What's he got to say to me? Pendleton is a gutless lying sack of shit. I hope he's paying you well for this. Paying us well for what? You might wonder. Well, we know that Pendleton is a fucker. Tonight. Hurry up, and let's see what you're made of. Lord Pendleton's representative will select his weapon. Oh? Oh. Content. Hmm. Take place between this anonymous gentleman acting for the challenger, Lord Trevor Pendleton, and Lord Shaw, the challenged party. You will each turn and proceed to the marked positions and remain facing away from each other as I count down from three. You may then turn and fire at will. Get on with it. I'll kill this fool and we can Well, go fuck back this inside. guy. Almost makes me want to kill Sorry, him. Sorry, my lord. We shall proceed. Kind of feeling like I want to take that pistol back out now. But no. Even though this is one of the few instances in which we... Which case we Stop. could get away with murder. Right there. We won't. That f son of a bitch Two. Pendleton surreptitiously One. subbed us in to duel for him. But you can switch to the sleep darts and it will be fine. Now we're going to put our stuff back away so the guards inside the party don't hassle us. And that's another patron dead. What do we do now? I love how bad it's these guards are at detecting a pulse. I hear the Estermonts pay top coin. No use trying Let's put him in the thorny bush. Let's see if we can find a little Let him sleep it off in the bramble. Oils clean up the mess. Okay, so the great thing about this party mission is that it really embraces the open-ended uh, open nature of the game. Like none other. Uh, there are a lot of variables. What most people don't remember is... Oh, and also it's so beautiful. Before the died. So before the um, are you we can actually carry out our mission... This is a nice little cider... Um, sparkling wine fountain. We have this opulent ball full of nobles, ignoring the plague sweeping the town around them, and an agent of death infiltrating said party. So this mission is loosely based on one of my all-time favorite poems, The Mosque of the Red Death. So we could, like a thief in the night, one by one drop the revelers in the blood bedewed halls of the revel, but we're going to be a polite party guest, mostly. Hey, here's one of the boils. In black. Welcome to my party. I don't believe you've had the pleasure. But there are three of them. Move along. All in I identical guest list, sir. costumes, except for the color. Also, you saw the wall of light incinerate a rat behind her. Light is a gift from the Lord Regent, indicating we can't go upstairs. Oh, that reminds me. Right before. Oh, it's not one of the boils. Right before I sat down to record, Element sent a picture in Discord that lit my soul up. You should see this as an While I nodded, nearly napping, here, suddenly there came a rapping as vast cheeks gently clapping, fortune, clapping at my chamber door. No Tis a visitor, I, muzzer, I muttered, dummy thick and nothing more. Fuck, that's so good! Good evening. Uh, so we're gonna look for a party guest to interrogate. We've seen her outside right before we went in. Remember, we're here to assassinate Lady Boyle, who is an ally, or the Lady Boyle, who is an ally to the Lord Regent. I'll have you know I'm as gentle as I need to be in any given situation. You're a scandal in that mask. I like a man with poor judgment. Would you get me a drink? I'd be so grateful. So Miss White will actually give us some information if we bribe her with uh, alcohol. So we're going to go back to that. Uh, that champagne fountain and do that because remember the catch here is that there are three lady boils and only one of them is our target but it's a masked ball and we don't know which of the sisters is which or which one is even the target we don't actually know the name of the sister well I know for a fact that Waverly's in black tonight in mourning for her reputation I expect Lydia's in white Okay, so we know two of the names and two of the costumes. Lydia's in white, Waverly is in black. We don't know the name of the third one in red, but once we learn, 
Uh, once we learn her name, we'll know who's who. The problem still remains that we don't actually know which one is the ally of the Lord Regent. Also, we can sign the guest book. Which is cheeky. And you do sign it Corvo Atano, and not as one of the aliases that got you into the party, like Bunting. In fact, if you're disruptive to the party, guards will approach you, or if you uh, if you bother certain guests, the music box that the Overseer plays will uh, lock you out of using magical powers, by the way. Oh, this dude, Ramsey. leaving the party with you? Why don't you try paying her? Bother me again and I'll speak to the guards. Yeah, he he will make good on that threat. Oh, hello, if you bother I Ramsay know. too much, he will Enjoy get the guards the to throw you out. If you can. Um, but the guards can just ask you for your I your identification. Uh, I don't think you can call yourself bunting, but you can just act drunk and be like, oh, okay, go on your way. Yes, so what we are going to do, she just saw a rat. Someone saw a rat. Uh, what I would like to do is to get into that room that, through the keyhole, we saw all of the uh, the whale oil tanks powering the generators, and you could see the wiring leading to the wall of light. So what we want to do is get into that room quietly and disable the wall of light so we can easily get upstairs. Oh, that's not going to work. That vent is... We can't crawl through because of the wiring. We have to find a different vent? May have miscalculated. Either way, this is a cool ass mission, so I'm I'm happy to improvise oh, as much as possible here. I don't want to get too close. I have to find a vent. There. Now the ventilation system here is a little less straightforward than you might hope. Uh there are branches and forks, and I don't remember quite which leads to that room. This might actually be upstairs. In fact. Yeah, this is one of their rooms, which is another place I want to explore, so this is fine. Uh, this is the upper floor. We have a basement vault key, a note to Lydia Boyle, so this is Lydia's room. Uh, there are three costumes for your party. Pains me that I can't be there. I'm uh, sure you understand why. I know you're trying to look lovely and white. I've enclosed a skeleton key to Dunwall Tower. When you visit me, no barrier will prevent that. And looking forward to a party, blah, blah, blah. Borishman. A young, fine musician is what she wants to find. What she wouldn't give. Someone who appreciates the harpsichord. Okay. So we already knew Lydia was in white, so the love letter didn't help us immediately. But it's signed HB. And it's a love letter to Lydia in white. That helps me quite a bit. We don't have to suss out the others, uh, any information on the others now. Remember though, this is the second floor which is off limits to guests. The ground floor is fair game. But if a guard catches up catches us up here, he'll sound the alarm. So we have to be a little bit careful. Now I could go back downstairs. I want to just hang out up here for a little bit cuz we could still find more information. It won't be necessary for us, but it could still yeah, be fun add some context. The mansion is a big sandbox. Uh, now, I will say that you can use a guard sounding an alert to your advantage here. You can actually use that strategically, because when the guards raise an alarm, all three Boyle sisters gather in one place. They gather in Waverly's room, uh, meaning that if you don't want to do the legwork of investigating your targets or your target, you can just kill all three Boyle sisters and succeed through process of elimination. Uh, I think that's that that takes the fun out of this mission because it's it's pretty much an investigation mission. It's a detective mission with a little bit of light assassination. Also, too bloody for my tastes. Although this is going to be a lethal mission for us. 
because, well, you'll see, we're actually going to meet the man who wrote the love letter and left it there. I think it's you. And he'll confirm our theory. I know your mission tonight. We must speak privately. Yes. Brisby, Lord Brisby. He left the love letter. The B at the end of the initial. Eyes uh, for Brisby. Now, we're going to get somewhere to a little more secluded right your and speak <laughs> quietly about who our target is and how to dispose of her. I'm a friend of Pendleton's, and I've done a few favors for your cause. I know your purpose here tonight, and how to say this, your target is the woman I love. I swear that if you'll bring her to me unharmed, you will never hear of her again. There's a cellar directly below the kitchen. I'll wait for you there. I'm not proud of this, but surely it's better than seeing her killed. It's not. Her name is Lydia. Oh, it's I super isn't. Her, I swear. I'm a man of means. Just bring her to the cellar and I will keep her safe with me. Forever. So he's a fucked up stalker. Uh, and doing this non-lethally means selling Lydia into what is essentially uh, sex slavery to her stalker. I am so, so, so uncomfortable with that. So I'm not going to do that. That's why we're going lethal for this mission. We're going to do it quick and painless. Do you? Tell me. Now tell me yours. Now remember, she likes music, so we're going to use that knowledge to coax her into the music room. Hmm. You promised to behave yourself. We'll go to the music room. Handsome we have an exquisite gold we have. Popsicle. I hope this plague lasts play? forever. Things have become so much better for us since the rats came. Not that I'm in favor of it, morally. If you try to just buy her a drink and flirt with her, she does not budge. So you have to know that she's a fan of musicians. Well, here we are. To get her alone, anyway. Shall we do with ourselves? By the way, I would highly recommend checking the Wikia page for this mission to get the full scope of what's going on. Because you're only seeing me do this one way, but everything from how you identify the women to how you even get into the party is hugely open-ended. There are like four or five ways in. There are six or so ways that I recall to get upstairs. There's a bunch of ways to carry out the assassination plus the non-lethal option, which is... Ooh, it's, it's real abhorrent. Although apparently in Dishonored 2, they retcon it so that things turn out okay uh, for said Boyle sister. Still not comfy with it. Lost, sir. You'll find everything inside. I am a little lost. Oh, this leads uh, to the entrance. There we go. By the way, one of my favorite details, this a little like blink and you'll miss it kind of thing, is that if you've been playing a High Chaos playthrough, Welcome, sir. Oh, and we the guests will... Uh... My oh, I love that. He comments on you eating the apple. <laughs> Who do you think um, you are? If you've been playing a High Chaos playthrough, the guests will occasionally sneeze because they have the plague, because High Chaos leads to more rats infesting the city. It's a subtle way in which you influence the world, and the world actually reacts. But that is the mission. Uh, there are more clues to which sister is which, and to which one is the ally of the Lord Regent, but... By having our dude uh, confirm the identity when we met him downstairs when he arrived, that really simplified quite a bit. You don't even have to meet. Oh shit! I've made a mistake coming down here into the, into the canal. I have to blink up, but it, oh god, the distance is really not being cooperative, and I have fish nibbling at my butt, my juicy thick butt cheeks. Ooh. Actually, how the hell do I get out of here? Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. I can also possess the fish. I'm guessing there's a tunnel I can swim through because I know there's a sewer entrance into the into uh the the estate. I just have to find 
way to Samuel's boat through the canal while riding the fish. Oh, I love that. Um, maybe not. Hmm. Hmm, this is, oh wait, I can get up on here and then maybe blink up somewhere? I think that's, ooh, this is gonna get messy. Man, we did the party itself so clean. Uh, and now we've definitely aggroed a tall boy. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh no! I know you're around. Oh, where is the? Oh god, the boat's back there. <laughs> clown shoes! I declare clown shoes! Oh my god! Ah! The nanigans! Oh my god! Yeah, sometimes you do. Oh. Sometimes you do great at the thing that you're supposed to do, uh, and then you spontaneously combust into a pile of clown shoes. Great. Let's get on this boat and never ever come back. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed your evening, sir. But we'd best be on our way. Quickly. Yeah, let's go. Let's go forever. I'm out. <laughs> oh, that is one of my favorite missions, though. Really embracing the sandbox nature of the game. Oh, there was a helpful little hint in the uh, in the loading screen tips. The tall boys can be neutralized by shooting the whale uh, oil tanks. You can also do some fun stuff with uh, slowed time and with telekinesis with them that will show eventually, I'm sure. Hmm. Lord Pendleton said he would meet us here. I checked the wine cellar. Losing family gives a man a thirst. All right. That is going to do it for today. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to ring the bell, like, comment, subscribe, check the links in the description. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one.